Today's video will be about the soon-to-open Resorts World in Las Vegas. Are you ready? Let's get started. Formerly the site of Stardust Resort and Casino, until its demise in 2007, Resorts World Las Vegas is set to be the first new resort to be completed on the Las Vegas Strip. The last to do so was the Cosmopolitan back in 2010. On June 24, 2021, Resorts World Las Vegas will finally open its doors to the public. There has been much hype surrounding the opening of Resorts World Las Vegas, being the most expensive resort property developed in Las Vegas, totaling a massive bill of $4.3 billion. The resort will include 59 stories housing three Hilton hotels, the Las Vegas Hilton at Resorts World, Conrad Las Vegas at Resorts World, and Crockford's Las Vegas. Each of the three hotels will have 1,774 rooms, 1,496 rooms, and 236 rooms respectively. And of course, the 117,000 square foot casino is sure to attract the thousands of locals and tourists around the Las Vegas area. Let's take a look at the rooms and starting rates. Let's start with the Las Vegas Hilton rooms and suites. We start off with a deluxe room, simple, elegant, with all the classic amenities, contemporary style, and perfect harmony. Includes one king bed, two queen beds, or two queen beds hearing accessible. It's over 400 square feet. It has an LED smart TV. If you have a Netflix or Amazon Prime account, you'll be able to stream from your phone or laptop directly to the TV. It has plush bedding, a spacious bathroom with a walk-in shower, and an intimate seating area. For a little bit extra, such as a great view with floor-to-ceiling windows, which gives you great views of the Las Vegas Valley, you can opt for the City View Deluxe Room. Prices for the City View Deluxe Room start at $139. You can upgrade to the Partial Strip View Deluxe Room, which starts at $149, the City View Premium Room at $189.05, the Strip View Premium Room at $198.55, Premium Room at $219, then there's the City View One Bedroom Suite at $792.30, and the Strip View One Bedroom Suite at $899 per night. The Conrad, more or less, offers the same rooms at the same prices. For now, the Crockford's rooms are super exclusive and currently unavailable as of the moment. The Asian-themed property boasts a 117,000 square foot casino. It's equipped with a sports book, over 117 table games, and 1,400 slot machines. Through their partnership with Gemini, cryptocurrency is accepted, with cashless wagering at slots and table games, made possible with a mobile wallet. You'll see popular gaming companies such as International Game Technology and Konami Gaming at the forefront of their cashless wagering. For the table games, Chips make use of RFID technology as part of its loyalty program. The casino will be the only area in the resort where smoking is permitted. The resort will also include the theater at Resorts World, a 5,000-seat theater for musical performances designed by Sino Plus and operated by AEG Presents. By the time of its opening, at over 196 feet wide and with over 265 speakers, it will be considered the largest and tallest stage on the Las Vegas Strip. Celine Dion is scheduled to open the theater on November 5, 2021, and she'll be followed by Carrie Underwood, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan throughout the following months. The IU Day Club will be the outdoor pool venue with a Southeast Asian island theme. There will also be a Zook Group branded nightclub the first U.S. location of its kind, with Zed, Tiesto, and Jack Harlow serving as resident DJs for both clubs. Resorts World Las Vegas will include more than 40 restaurants and bars, such as Prince's Hot Chicken, a breakfast eatery worth over $1 million, and the Poker Deli. It will also include a steakhouse by Sean Christie. Zook will also be opening Fuhu, an Asian restaurant, and Red Tail, a social gaming bar. Also be on the lookout for Famous Food Street Eats, which will have over 16 food stalls. It will feature both Western and Southeast Asian food. Steve Aoki and Marcus Samuelson are among many others who will open eateries at the Food Street, which was co-developed by Zook. The Food Street will measure at 24,000 square feet, making it one of the biggest eateries in the world. This doesn't even account for the Crystal Bar, worth $3 million, and Wally's. The wine bar and restaurant will be over 13,000 square feet. There's also the Gatsby's Cocktail Lounge at over 4,090 square feet. And in terms of room service, Resorts World is the first resort to partner with Grubhub, a popular Chicago-based food delivery platform. 
One problem that many tourists have had with Las Vegas is the redundancy of the hotel game in the past 10 years. With no new hotels within that time, it can get a little boring for those who are looking for something new and fresh. Resorts World Las Vegas does exactly this by injecting some new blood into the Las Vegas Strip, one which is desperately needed. Resorts World Las Vegas looks to redefine the hospitality standard in the state of Nevada with dining, entertainment, and hotel accommodation experiences that can't be seen anywhere else on the Strip. It will officially open its doors to visitors on June 24, 2021. After a difficult year for the entire world, dealing with COVID and the pandemic, it's a breath of fresh air knowing that some parts of the world are slowly transitioning the old normal we all miss and love. After getting fully vaccinated, assuring you of protection from the various illnesses you can get from COVID-19, what better way to celebrate life and living it to the fullest than Las Vegas? And within Las Vegas is the newest kid on the block looking to take the state and the city of sin by storm. Subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell and catch the next two videos we have ready.